2 Timothy chapter 1 Paul an apostle of Christ Jesus by the will of God according to the promise of life that is in Christ Jesus to Timothy my dear son grace mercy and peace from God the Father and Christ Jesus our Lord I thank God whom I serve as my forefathers did with a clear conscience as night and day I constantly remember you in my prayers recalling your tears I long to see you so that I may be filled with joy I have been reminded of your sincere faith which first lived in your grandmother Lois and in your mother Eunice and I am persuaded now lives in you also for this reason I remind you to fan into flame the gift of God which is in you through the laying on of my hands for God did not give us a spirit of timidity but a spirit of power of love and of self-discipline so do not be ashamed to testify about our Lord or ashamed of me his prisoner but join with me in suffering for the gospel by the power of God who has saved us and called us to a holy life not because of anything we have done but because of his own purpose and grace this grace was given us in Christ Jesus before the beginning of time but it has now been revealed through the appearing of our Savior Christ Jesus who has destroyed death and has brought life and immortality to light through the gospel and of this gospel I was appointed a herald and an apostle and a teacher that is why I am suffering as I am yet I am not ashamed because I know whom I have believed and am convinced that he is able to guard what I have entrusted to him for that day what you heard from me keep as the pattern of sound teaching with faith and love in Christ Jesus guard the good deposit that was entrusted to you guard it with the help of the Holy Spirit who lives in us you know that everyone in the province of Asia has deserted me including Phygelus and Hermogenes May the Lord show mercy to the household of Onesiphorus, because he often refreshed me and was not ashamed of my chains. On the contrary, when he was in Rome, he searched hard for me until he found me. May the Lord grant that he will find mercy from the Lord on that day. You know very well in how many ways he helped me in Ephesus.